Drake's got some of the most unique tattoos in the rap game, and they're very controversial. Whether he's getting roasted for tattooing Lil Wayne on his arm or just for the actual placement of his tattoos, people seem to talk about his tats a lot. For that reason, I figured I'd make a video explaining what his tattoos mean so people can have a better understanding of why he got them. We'll discuss his BBK tattoo, a bottle of cologne he has on his shoulder, and the mystery people that he has tattooed. I think you guys will definitely be surprised to hear what some of his tattoos mean. So the first tattoo we'll talk about is the matching tattoo Drake has with Rihanna. For the longest time, there have been rumors about Rihanna and Drake dating, though it's never been 100% confirmed. But they seem to have at least a good friendship because back in 2016, they both got matching tattoos of a camouflage shark. Apparently, the shark is a toy Drake gave to her as a gift, and for whatever reason, they decided to both get it tattooed. Though, this isn't the only Rihanna tattoo Drake has. He also got a portrait of her done on his arm before they both got the shark tattoo. But do you think the relationship with Rihanna will last? Uh, there's no relationship, they're friends. They're just friends? Even with the tattoos? Yeah. Really? Yeah. The next tattoo we'll talk about is the BBK tat inked in a medieval gothic font on his shoulder. BBK actually stands for Boy Better Know, an English grime collective and record label known for artists like JME. Think me and Skepta were born rapping, born in the ends, move food in the ends, and that's the new meaning of spawn trapping. Ian Skepta. Saying a culture is my religion. God knows I don't want to go prison. But if a man won't try me, trust Skepta and Drake have become very close friends over the years, and Drake once even claimed that he was the first Canadian artist to be signed to BBK, while he was still actually signed to Cash Money Records. Despite the fact that he isn't actually signed to BBK, Drake's relationship with the label is still great, and thus the reason he got this tattoo. Another music-related tat Drake has is his More Lie tattoo. When Drake was working on dropping his 2017 mixtape, a lot of promotional content for the album contained imagery with a bee and a flower, and a lot of his captions had the bee and flower emojis in them. On the same day that he finally dropped his More Life project, Swedish tattoo artist Nicky Norberg shared a photo of the tattoo for the first time on Instagram. Obviously, it's a metaphor. The bee is giving life by pollinating the flower. On Drake's back, he has four faces tattooed, three of which are family-oriented. Starting from the top, you have Drake's uncle, who the rapper credits for his success in music. And next to him, you have Drake's grandmother, who he named his Toronto nightclub the Share Club after. And next to her, you have Drake's mother. And then on the opposite side is a portrait of Aaliyah. Aaliyah, if you're not aware, was a very influential singer who passed away in 2001. Now, it's pretty well known that Drake has had somewhat of an obsession with Aaliyah since the start of his career before he got this tattoo. He's referenced her in songs, sampled her music, and even managed to get unreleased Aaliyah vocals for his own song. So why does he love Aaliyah so much? In this interview, Drake explains why she means so much to him. Aaliyah has had probably the most impact on, on my career because, you know, when I made a choice to start singing, I needed... So I needed something to like reference some I needed I needed someone to be like well I want to be like that you know and I, I didn't want it ever to be like a male because then I would sound like that person so um, I just found like comfort in all of Aaliyah's music and her um, her melody choices and the things that she talks about and sort of how she always like like conveyed these amazing emotions but never got too sappy you know she always like kept the G even as like I, and, and I, I say even as a woman because I feel like women make you know very like overly emotional music when they're singing you know um, and as a woman I feel like she just kept it so G. Aaliyah and Rihanna aren't the only singers who Drake has tattooed though. In 2017 Drake got two tattoos of Sade right next to each other and to most people, that comes as no surprise, because Drake has been talking about how influential Sade was on him ever since he was a kid, because his mom used to listen to her music. Uh, I, I'm very influenced by her, you know. She um, she does something that I do, which is like keep. She doesn't do too much too much with harmonies, and she keeps her vocals very, you know, clean and just single vocals, and it, it's sort of haunting melodies. And so we we I'm influenced by her a lot. One day. Previous to getting her tattooed, Sade had gifted Drake a signed picture of her 2010 single, Baby Father. But it wasn't until a few months later that she showed up to Drake's London show that he decided to get her face tattooed with her signature right under it. A couple months after that, Drake decided to get another portrait of Sade, and he also added a backdrop of palm trees, clouds, and ocean to the piece. 
After Drake showed so much love for Sade, some people speculated that they had a romantic relationship, but her son took to Instagram to assure everyone that they weren't in fact dating. Besides his mother and grandmother, another family member Drake has tatted is his dad, but it isn't just any ordinary picture. He actually got his dad's mugshot tattooed on his arm. Now Drake and his father haven't had the greatest relationship, his parents got divorced when he was just five and his father spent time in prison. And this is my dad, and uh, him and my uncle worked with Al Green. That's basically why I do it. I mean, he taught me everything. So thank you, Dad. I don't get to see you that often, but you know, my love is always with you. And Drake has said he hopes to be a better father to his children than his dad was to him. But as Drake has gotten more mature, they've grown to be very close with each other. So as far as why he got this tattoo, who knows exactly why. But now his father actually got a tattoo of Drake on his arm, so now they both have tattoos of each other. Who do you guys think got the better tattoo, Drake or his dad? Leave a comment and let me know. One of the more confusing tattoos that Drake has is his tattoo of a Dracar Noir bottle of cologne. Drake has some kind of weird, long-running affinity for this cologne. He's been seen wearing t-shirts with the Dracar Noir logo on it, he got this tattoo, and his old Twitter handle used to actually be Dracar D. Noir. Dracar Noir is a guy's cologne that was released in 1982. It once won the Canadian Hall of Fame award for best cologne, and at $20 to $30, it's pretty inexpensive. Dracar Noir, the men's fragrance by Guy La Roche Paris. Feel the power. The sleek Dracar Noir telephone, just $21.50 with any $16 purchase. Available at Lazarus. Drake's never revealed the reason he loves Dracar Noir so much, but it's not because they have an endorsement deal with him, so who knows? Maybe it helped him score Rihanna, or it could just mean a lot to him because it's all he could afford when he was shooting Degrassi. Probably the most controversial tattoo Drake has gotten is his tattoo of fellow Young Money rapper Lil Wayne. When a picture came out of Drake at Houston Appreciation Weekend, people started to notice the huge Wayne tat he had on the back of his arm. A lot of people were critical of the tattoo, saying a man shouldn't get a tattoo of another man, but I definitely get it, seeing as how Wayne essentially put Drake on, and they both look at each other like brothers. They are like brothers, and Drake's got the whole family. The interesting thing about this tattoo is that apparently Drake got it without telling Wayne beforehand, and he simply just went for it. But TMZ reports that Wayne loved the tattoo and was beyond honored. Though Lil Wayne isn't the only famous man Drake has tatted. In 2017, Drake got a tattoo of Bleak, a character played by Denzel Washington in Spike Lee's 1990 film Mo Betta Blues, a movie about a jazz musician and the decisions that jeopardize both his relationships and his music career. The film focuses on themes of friendship, loyalty, honesty, cause and effect, and ultimately salvation. And Drake loved it so much that he got one of the characters tattooed. On The Tonight Show, Denzel Washington thought the tattoo was pretty funny. Drake recently got a tattoo of you. Did you know this? I heard about this. He got a tattoo of, of me. Of you. Yes. From Mo Betta Blues. Yes. Uh, his tattoo artist put, put this online. This is, I just don't know what body part this is from on Drake. Does, does anyone know Drake that well? Does anyone know wh what part? Is this his arm? Is this his back? It's, it's got to be bigger than his arm. But that's you. Yeah, that's... Uh... <laughs> you see that? Yeah, now you got me wondering now. Where is that? <laughs> that was, you know, I forgot to bring it up. I forgot to bring it up. Yeah, like, <laughs> Too big for that. <laughs> that's, cra uh, that's crazy. Uh, no, but it, I think he got, he got some other, like, people he admires tattoos as well. Oh, maybe I'm on there. <laughs> <laughs> I never hear those stories. Uh, the final tattoo we'll talk about is Drake's Eye of Horus tattoo. Interestingly, Drake got this tat to cover up some old ink he had that he didn't like. Before it was the Eye of Horus, it was actually Toronto's CN Tower, the same tower Drake is sitting on in the Views album art. Contrary to popular belief, this tattoo has nothing to do with the Illuminati or anything else like that. The Eye of Horus is actually an Egyptian symbol of protection, royal power, and good health. Some people speculate Drake is of Egyptian descent, though he's never confirmed it, because he uses a lot of Egyptian imagery like this tattoo and the OVO owl logo was actually based on an Egyptian hieroglyph. 